Welcome to Gamer Athletes, coming to you from the end of the world tattoo and cigar bar studio in Northwest Indiana. The Mount Everest of gaming excellence, delivering all the gaming news and info that you as athletes deserve. This is uh, Gamer Athletes. We are your hosts, Chris Carr and Dan Martinez. All right, we got um, we got a lot of stuff to get into today. Uh, I do have one correction from last week. Uh, it wasn't the Adam Project that was the trans um, charity that streamers were donating to. It was the Trevor Project. Trevor. Trevor Project. So if you want to donate uh, for uh, trans kids, you can go over to trevorproject.com and uh, donate some money there. Is it, a, is it based off a real person? I have no idea. Huh. I just want to make that correction since I was wrong. So, uh, um, anyway, some other fun stuff we're going to do. The Star Wars burlesque show. I saw this a while ago. Yeah, it looks interesting. Like, huh. Yeah. We should go. Yeah, we should <laughs> go get some tickets and go to uh, Chicago for a couple people that probably we know that are already going. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it looks, uh, looks like a good time. You can get a couple drinks and look at Star Wars some and sexy stormtroopers. Yes. I saw them. Yeah. <laughs> Um, speaking of that, uh, there was a study that came out that if you drink Coke and Pepsi, it oh. increases your ball size. <laughs> Balls? Ball size We went from testosterone. <laughs> like in the last episode to balls now. We're just going to walk around with yeah. huge packages. Uh, drinking Coke <laughs> and Pepsi leads to larger testicles and more testosterone. You know, and since I read mm. this study that came out, I've been... Uh, Cutting back? No, drinking more. <laughs> Cutting back. <laughs> I've, been, I've been drinking a little bit more Coke and Pepsi. You shouldn't drink that shit. Says a, st- a study has revealed how drinking Coca Cola and Pepsi can lead to larger testosterone or larger testicles and higher testosterone levels. <laughs> what? A Northwest Mizzou U- University in China was attempting to determine the impact of carbonated beverages on fertility and sex organs in men. But why? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> you gotta gotta justify those government grants on something. Yeah. The study looked at three groups of mice. One only drank water, another drank uh different levels of Coca Cola, and the other one the same with Pepsi. Wow, this is pretty quick. Over fifteen days. Mm. There's a lot of ads on the internet now, isn't there? Yeah. Uh tests on the rodents include weighing their t- how do you weigh a, a mouse's testicles? I don't know. You get a little tiny scale <laughs> <laughs> and they say hey, <laughs> Maybe they drink so much coke, the little mouse can't even run hop around. Up, hop up there, Timmy. On his balls, <laughs> stepping on his. <laughs> tests on the rodents include weighing their testicles and drawing blood. There were tests on day one as well as day five, uh, seven, ten, and fifteen. It was discovered, or it was quickly discovered that the mice drinking Coca Cola had a uh, and one hundred percent Pepsi. Wait, discovered that the mice drinking Coke and one hundred percent Pepsi compared to the mixture of Pepsi and water had a significant change. What the fuck? So this this is, is a ploy by the soft drink manufacturer. Yes. <laughs> to put this story out. Yep. <laughs> Sell more Coke and Pepsi. They're gonna work together. Yeah. So if you're interested in increasing your ball size, uh go in ahead and out there and uh, pick yourself up a Pepsi and or Coca Cola. You need the you need the, the meme with the two Hands shaking hands from Predator, Coke, Pepsi, bigger balls, testosterone. They should have the two hands shaking hands, yes. Greg, cupping someone's yeah. balls. Huge balls. Cupping Weird. someone's massive testicles. All right. <clears throat> so, you know, Chris's hot takes. Here we I go. I mean, I you think it would be a hot take? It's a hot take. It, yeah, I don't know. I have just noticed. I need more of a sample. We were, we were talking this morning before uh, we started the show about kids nowadays and their tech... Mm, or lack of tech ability. Savvy. They're not. Yeah, they're savvy not tech savvy. Yeah. yeah. So, I, um, like my kids, I don't know if your kids are. Your kids are younger. My kids are a little bit older. Are not. So I'm caught in this weird generational thing where my in laws need tech help all the time. Yep. Old people, <laughs> and then my kids also <laughs> need tech help. So I'm the tech guy for weird the old and the younger generation. Mm. And I don't know if it's the fact that they're younger and the, but they have access to YouTube and the internet and yet they don't want to go up and look up how to reset a router or some dumb shit like that. And it's right there. Yeah. So <clears throat> I'm at uh Papa John's last night picking up a couple pies for uh my daughter's birthday. And I'm sitting there and the person behind the cash register 
and then the person in front of the cash register, the guy who's buying the pizza is older than me, the person behind the cash register is younger than me, both cannot figure out how to use the credit card machine. <laughs> oh. So they're having a tech difficulty, and that's when I kind of started thinking about this, that, yeah, that kids nowadays are... I don't, I don't know why it is, or they're kind of in a weird area. And this is not, this is kind of a uh, subject. It's not all kids or whatever. There's a lot of younger guys on the YouTube or whatever that put the out great YouTube. tech videos. But I think generally, in a general sense, I think our generation is quite a bit better with tech because we kind of grew into it. Yeah. It was, it, 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 we slowly grabbed it. It's like a tutorial every, yeah. every year something new came out and you learned it, yeah. you learned it, you learned it. So I, I and I kind of stay on top of the yeah. things. Mm. right now understand like so my kids are too young to understand the cloud and then older yeah. people are just will never understand the cloud, understand the cloud. Yeah. <laughs> they start looking up well, i'm like what yeah. are you talking about <laughs> well it doesn't help that i'm pointing <laughs> i'm like it's in the cloud and i'm pointing up and i'm like no it's not physically up there yeah you should know that your yeah. big buddy lives up there <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the man in the sky. <laughs> I'm like, no, it's 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 in a server room somewhere. They just call it the cloud. It is. Because, yeah. Huh. I yeah. didn't know that. Anyway, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'm telling her that. <laughs> yeah. But so, my kids just don't understand because they're too young. Yeah. They don't have the abstract thinking or the con- cognitive abilities to understand yeah. the concept. Come back in four years. I'll tell you. I'll tell yeah. you. Uh, so I'd, I'd be interested got to it. see that, that. But, you know. I don't know. My kids are, they're, I don't know. They're coming along. I guess they can do some stuff. My kid, they but can use the I iPad. Noticed. They can use the phone. They can, they can, they can navigate but, the Xbox and stuff pretty good. But, but it's not, it's like the internal shit or the, like the, like I said, I had to show, uh, like my, my kids say there's a problem with the internet. They call, they just call me to fix it. They don't like go just unplug the router yeah. and plug yeah. it back in. You can do that. That's where you start at. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That's where you start at, uh, with the little things. Um, and then with the older people, it's like they don't even know how to change the input on their TV. No, they don't know. Oh, yeah. God. <laughs> yeah. I'm stuck on Does watching I, this forever. <laughs> Does it have to be on Channel 3? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Wait, yeah. what? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, 20 years channel ago, three. maybe. 20, 25 years ago, it had mm-hmm. to be on Channel 3. The RF adapter. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so I found this, too. This this was funny. And I did not know this. Like, like here and there, occasionally, like, some weird sports will come up. On like my feed, oh my God. like I ha- have you seen the combat juggling? <laughs> no. Combat juggling is pretty funny. Maybe we'll no. talk about that next week. This is a <laughs> there's actually a website dedicated, to, and and I didn't know this, but World Sleep Championships. Wow, you can actually be a competitive sleeper. Hmm. Yeah, the guy that did our intro, should we? Which should we? Uh, <laughs> He'd probably we should be let him know about this, dude. Yeah. He could be a fucking champion. He, there's a possibility. Uh, yeah, he could be the Michael Jordan of this it could be. particular sport. Could be. Uh, I don't know if I'd call it a Kobe sport. Kobe even. <laughs> <laughs> the flagship tournament on the Earth's hottest new sport, sleep what? racing. So you're basically judged on how yeah. good you sleep, your sleep patterns, and how fast you can fall asleep. Well, th- he got that one. He's yeah, got he that one. Fast. That one is instantaneous. Yeah. Just while talking to you. Yeah. <laughs> but after, well, before that, like, I don't know his sleep patterns. Yeah. So they put, they like put brain monitors. On <laughs> that they sleep great, and watch it. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, if, you, if you're interested in becoming a sleep champion, you can head on over to worldsleepchampions.com and uh, enter to be the champion of sleeping. I mean, you put it on your headstone. I don't know. Yeah, I'd be, that's that's the ultimate winner right there. And <laughs> yeah, I'd be kind of bad at that. You're, I'm sleeping forever. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of the internet too, uh, this is one thing. And being tech savvy, actually, probably should have put this before. But so I'm I'm on the internet, and people are talking. They, every I'm time someone comes up to talk shit on the internet, they'll just drop the go read a book. Oh. <laughs> and, and the one okay. thing I thought about the first the first rebuttal that I fucking thought about was hey, Mein Kampf was a book. Yeah, Mein that was, Kampf. A, that, yeah, that was a book. <laughs> so, like, read a book. I, I, I was thinking, did, did people back in the day when they started putting shit on scrolls, and then you had the stone tablet? People going, go read a stone tablet. It may, well, What's up with your fucking go read scrolls? A, go read the new wall in the cave. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the the read a book thing is such an antiquated fucking. That's not even a dunk on anybody anymore, is it? Is I mean, that like a dunk? It's it, they. I don't even know how to break it down as they're trying to dunk. It's like 
You it's can not. read books, but the book doesn't automatically make you Yeah, it doesn't make it right. Intelligent. What if no. what if it's just a fiction? Yeah, there's been a lot of horse shit <laughs> it's just that's a been fictional w- book written in books. There's stuff that you I mean, you get a co- better cognitive ability. I don't know, you can read reading. shit on the internet that's the same yeah. thing as there's books that do give knowledge, but not all books are knowledgeable. No, I don't think it's a <laughs> so dog anymore. So read a book doesn't really make sense. Yeah, go read a book. Go I read the I joy of sex. It's such a stupid, <laughs> that. antiquated yeah. insult to people. Kinda because the, the, there's an entire world of knowledge. You know, the new one is there. the book was better. <laughs> um, that's the that's old. that's the they've been saying that for a while. But it has more power than that one. That the book was better. Yeah. Here's my thing on the book was better. Oh, fucking Netflix disciples. If, if <laughs> the 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 book is not better because I can just watch it. It, I, I don't have to. Yeah, but yeah. go fucking read a book and you'll find out no. how that's fucking wrong. No, I've read <laughs> books before. I've read, uh, yeah, but you don't have to uh, slog through reading something. It's not a slog. Yeah, it can be a slog. Yeah, and then you have the wrong book. Yeah, yeah. and then you know, <laughs> you, you know what happens if they don't put a movie about a book? Then the book obviously wasn't worth reading. I mean, almost everything's a book, though. So yeah, and then they make no movies out of them if they're good. And then they, and then it sucks. Yeah, no, no exhibit really. A, of Game of Thrones. Yeah. All right, you want to get into some gamer news? Yeah. All right. This is a uh, this is a big story for me. Wait a minute. Oh, new Wait. releases and hype. This would be under the hype for you. Yeah, this is hype. Hype. Elden Ring DLC was announced. Claps. Yeah. Uh, I'm on the wrong oh. tab. I'm I'm not going to scroll over to it. Anyway, Elden Ring DLC was announced, and they just put out an image. That looks like uh, Mikola riding a horse. Torrent. Yes, riding torrent. Mm-hmm. Which goes into the game lore where uh, uh, Ronnie says that torrent was given to you and had a previous owner. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it gets pretty deep. In, and then you see uh, the, the the image that they put out had the, the flowing blonde hair with yep. the braids in it. It's like in a wheat field or something. Yes. Mm-hmm. Which um, also uh, in... In the cutscene at the very beginning, Elden Ring, one of the only cutscenes, which makes it a great game because there's not a lot of cutscenes in there. <laughs> there I'm going to have to cut that out. <laughs> what the, yep. uh, it actually shows uh, like a, a hand, Moog's hand probably holding Mikola, so, okay, which has the flowing blonde hair. So... That, That's just an image. They didn't give you any no, but we should of the game. read as far into that image as we can. <laughs> that's what the internet does. Yes, that's what they do. And <laughs> like, like I said, I've already watched probably I don't know two, three videos of people speculating what that image means. They also had the Halig tree, which was uh, mm, blackened out. Yeah, yeah, stuff dripping out of the Halig tree. So people are speculating whether it's before or after the current events. I, for one, am excited for it. I hope they put in a uh, healthy... Ma- and it's an expansion. It's not DLC. Yeah, I've played zero of all the FromSoft games and zero. I don't play a lot of DLC or expansions, period. I'll play the shit out of this DLC well, yeah. when they put it out. We could have bet on that. Yeah. Thank you. It's a good game. I've said it. I'm, I'm going to start it again. It. I think I'm going to be- do a, a bleed build. Do a- oh, Okay. There you go. So I'm going to go trophy hunting. Go on Rivers the PS5. of Life. Get some seppuku. Yeah. What? But, Did you just have a stroke? <laughs> <laughs> Sapuku. That's when the Japanese what? guys stab themselves in the stomach to commit suicide. It's a uh, Ash of War and uh, Elden Ring. Oh, it's an Ash of War. Yes, Sapuku. It adds bleeds to your Kiri. And yeah, it's like one of the strongest builds. I don't want to get too deep in the weeds, but it's a strong build. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, that gets my uh, yeah. gamer the- nerd shit. <laughs> yeah, you nerd out. So yeah, I'm played, like, yeah. yeah. Especially with this. You're very game. specialized. Yeah, that's yeah. all right, though. I'm happy with being a specialized gamer. Mm-hmm. So, like I said, uh, being a specialized gamer, what <clears throat> Hogwarts actually said, yeah, I should I should probably be a little bit more critical on that game. I and, used to be more general. I'd I play way more than I do now. Like like you said, <laughs> tech, like turn-based RPGs and shit. Like, oh, man. Yeah. Like I love them. I want to, like, play more of them. But I'm like, one, they're fucking too long. And then... Uh, I can't do. Ter- I don't know. About then, like, I, I just get like, uh, I'm like, I'm kind of yeah. bored. I don't know. I play way less of those now, and I think 
I want to play more action RPGs. I want more yeah. of those. What's so why <clears throat> Tears of the Kingdom? I'm like, okay, that's an, more of an action game. Yeah, Final Fantasy 16. Actually, uh, they're leaning into. I mean, yep. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna do a deep dive into it and maybe get more into it next week. But they have um, the mm. battle. The guy who's the ba- production, the battle uh, designer, the lead guy on it, came from like Devil May Cry. Yeah. And they also said they wanted it to be, um, they took a lot of stuff, they said, from, like, uh, Grand Theft Auto and okay. kind of that stuff. The and it's not. It looks fast yeah. and fun. Yeah. And keep me engaged. <clears throat> and it's not going to be a traditional open world. It's going to have, you know, some open world concepts in it. But they're kind of, they're, they're trying to bring Final Fantasy 16 to a newer uh, audience who isn't into the turn-based stuff as much. I don't want to be, like, fall asleep. Well, trying to revive a guy with a phoenix down in my menu, like I'm just the battle music is just playing. No, I want to keep engaged. Otherwise, I'll just I'll, I'll be done. Yeah. So that's uh, yeah, like I said, I was gonna be try to be a little bit more like I should be cr- a little bit more critical on games like Hogwarts from my point of view, so that other people who uh like that style of play can understand where where I'm at on it. Mm-hmm. So like like Hogwarts I actually stopped playing it because I was there's too many cutscenes, like quick time oh, events. Yeah. The yeah. combat does get kind of stale over it over gets, time. It's it's repetitive cuz once you find those like spell yeah, it's yeah. just it's more now it's more chore than yeah. game at the point where I'm at. Yeah, like, and you're, it's more you're like pretty, all right. How, how far the, are you into that game? Fucking a, I'm in winter, I, so I really, but yeah, yeah. I did the second trial. Okay, so, so you're, now yeah. I'm at the third painting. Person in the painting, the original, those okay. headmasters, right? That yeah, the game tells you about. Now I'm gonna go do that dude's trial, and I'm just ticking boxes because I'm just trophy hunting now. Yeah, right? I don't want so. Yeah, I don't. I don't like. I don't want to do that as far as the game. Um, going back to El- Elden Ring was a game that I hundred percented because it was. The game was but fun. It's not crazy it out of, you know, to 100% it also. But the combat and everything in that game is so fun and interesting. I would say <clears throat> opening levels, the Great Plateau and in, in Breath of the Wild and Stormvale Castle are some of the best intro yeah. levels of all time. Yeah. Like Stormvale Castle was just, oh, fuck. That game, I was like this. Yeah, this is, but I want that. I that want game. another Dark Souls because like I'm like, oh, I love this part of the game. Yeah, I think uh, um, I'm not sure. You have to see where From Software is at if they're going to do another Dark Souls type. Like Dark Souls was originally just supposed to be one game, and then um, Dark Souls three they put mm. out the second one, and Miyazaki didn't like the way the second one was, so he went and did a third one. Oh yeah, the second one. Ooh, I did not enjoy that one. Yeah, I have not played it. I want to though. I did not enjoy it. Yeah, it was quickly. I was like, yeah, nope, this isn't what I played because I played three first. I kind of fucked me up. Okay. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I played uh, one and then three. I had a friend tell me about one, and I was like, oh, okay, I'll get to it. I never did, and then three came out. I was like, I'm going to jump yeah. in, and fucking loved it. One is hard to go. I mean, it's not necessarily hard to go back to play, but it's 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 a little bit rough now, but even the remastered version. Three is hard. One yeah. is hard. It's Demon hard. Souls, though. No, one is, of course. Hard to go back to? Yeah, hard to go back to. Oh. So I don't find the game particularly hard. Yep. Yeah. There's, it's... A little bit clunky, but I do like the ambiance. It's clunky. All ambiance in it. Yeah. Yeah. We're just you and the clanking That's of your the original armor. Tomb Raider. The, the game sucks mechanically. Yeah. But the ambiance, it's like you're by yourself I, in caves. There's yeah. no one talking to you in a fucking Bluetooth headset. No. Like you're alone, and next thing you know, there's a fucking Tyrannosaurus Rex coming at you, and you got to shoot it with yeah. fucking pistols. That was one of the things we <laughs> talked about. I think we talked about it a little bit last week with the the puzzle helpers and stuff like that. One of the things that I disliked about Hogwarts was the, like the puzzle helping just mechanics like that. Quick time events, uh, puzzle helping long dialogue. Uh, it just, those are hard games for me to get like seriously into. I want a lot of action in a game. Which that's where I'm leaning. I'm more towards that now than I've ever been. Which I I don't understand. Um, a lot of game developers don't don't seem. But why did that's why Call of Duty just keeps selling? 
Because you can just jump into the game well, and you can play. I mean, combined with the fucking dopamine hit it, of you know, just fucking, all game, you're oh, filling meters. People? No, you're filling meters, right? So you headshot 30 people to unlock this part yeah. uh, or, or camouflage, right? It's all dopamine and, and filling meters and checking boxes. And it, it's just that every time. And it's addicting because you're like, oh, fuck yeah, I got like 10 in that kill. So I'm only 10 more away and I can play another match. Like... I know people that are severely addicted to it. Just addicted to Call of Duty? Like mm-hmm. they need an intervention? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to go over there, sit down, surrounded by their hey, family hey. and friends. You got to stop. Listen. And he shoots us all. He's like, what is all this? <laughs> I'm not addicted. <laughs> Fuck you guys. I'm going to go get my P90. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So this is your story. Oh, wait. What's no, that? no, no. I'm going to get into this first, too. The pause button? Uh, yeah, the pause button. So people are complaining. that Now, Elden Ring DLC has they're been announced. They're not complaining now. They, now. they were complaining when the game came no, out. No, people are still complaining I'm now. I'm saying they've especially been complaining so, for a year. Yeah. Um, yeah. Happy birthday, Elden Ring. I mean, Elden Ring DLC needs to add a pause button. And like I said, you and I might be on. I, I don't think it needs a pause button. I don't really care. It's got online elements, which is why they don't have the pause mm-hmm. button. I got little kids still. I needed a pause button. Yeah. Uh, just get good, bruh. Just get good. And I was playing it in our undisclosed location, and I needed a pause button. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I mean, and if I you killed just die, by go a couple bosses grace. because I couldn't continue to play that, I had yeah. to attend to something else. Just bone out, man. I couldn't like, bone out. Bone dude. out. No, I was fucking doing good, too. Yeah. So this this case is, uh, you know, What's I love. What's the first boss's name? Godric. Um, uh, Margaret's the first Margaret like storyline boss. <laughs> yeah, but you can skip that boss too. What Margaret? Yeah, there are okay. like generally all the bosses are kind of skippable in that game, except for we have Malaketh. I, I, never mind. I'm not going to get real nerdy into it. But yeah, you got a you got very few ones yeah. that you have to have fire giant Malaketh, sure. and then a lot of the other ones are optional depending on how where you want to go in the game, which is makes the game so good. Pause button. Yes, right. Bring it. It says, I explored the uh, lands between for about 30 minutes, beating some bosses and seeing most of the areas. But my problem is when IRL happens. Not a specific something. (laughs) Fucking IRL sucks. sucks. (laughs) Sometimes, man. Yeah, the postman killed me, and this guy talks about having a kid. See? And I've got children. He says, I've never been around a child for an extended period of time. (laughs) Yeah. If you've got children or have ever been around a child, yeah, you need to stop. Yeah. And I've got, we've, we know people that are recently uh, with children and they're like, holy fuck, I can't play these kind of games anymore. They're big online players. Yeah. And I'm it's like, hard yeah, to play online good luck. Game. Good fucking luck, dude. Yeah. Yeah. You have to step away from the online competitive Call of Duty and Fortnite mm-hmm. stuff when you have uh, children that need to be taken care of. But for, ooh, look at that. Here's the I that image. That's really good. Yeah. But I don't know. I I just don't necessarily think because there's plenty of ways to get around and have pause buttons. The fights in the game aren't overly uh, long. I mean, you can well, you make can't them. Be, long. It doesn't matter how long it is. It, it doesn't matter if you're in the middle, of the beginning, end. As soon as the kid wakes up, you have to go. Yeah, but that's like, not there's an emergency. No, there's no stop it. Yeah, I mean, you don't yeah, have okay. To, I mean, you, they got yeah. like a minute or yeah, two. Yeah, if you're you a baby, fucking... like no, dude, like I'm not gonna now. I'm gonna like, die because I can't pause it. So just run away, pause. Yeah. No. Bone out, man. No, man. Yeah. Bone out. They'll give us one. Uh, I don't my know. Money on, the, my money's no, on it. No, uh, uh, no souls likes have pause buttons. Mm-hmm. Securo is they'll, the They'll lone put something exception. in the form of a pause button. It won't be called pause or something. but Halt combat. If you want to halt combat. It might. I mean, there might be like a, a fundamental. Maybe they'll put out a statement that puts like there's a. Big fundamental reason on why they don't. They did put a fun, that out. It's online. Oh. You got to play it online, bruh. All right, this is your story. Diablo hype continues. Oh, yeah. I'm all right, Run me Diablo. through this. Run well, it no, down. We, this Break is, it down. I didn't. I'm hyped for Diablo, of course. Oh, you're hyped I, for Diablo. Every time Diablo comes around, I'm like, oh, yeah. Okay, I, that's more. It's loot. It's action. It's fun. Right. But. I'm more curious now because we can try that Discord. Why do you want... We can try Discord, dude. To get it. Trophy S5. Trophies. Oh, it's because your gamer score is so high on the Xbox. Oh, it's ridiculous. Yeah. And then my PlayStation is fairly new because I didn't play PlayStation We're going to have to have an intervention on that one because you're so concerned about your game score. I used to be worse. It was bad. I'd I'd play fucking games just to get 
mean, this was I was laid off though, dude. I was laid off for eleven months, and I played a lot. That was back in the bootlegging days. So I had a, a, a bootleg illegal Xbox with uh, them old backups of games. They can do Discord across platforms. Yeah, so I want to try that. Yeah, for that, but I'm gonna bring my trophy count up. I will be getting it on the Xbox because I have game sharing with my son. It's perfect. So it'll be a perfect opportunity to try this. To try out Discord. Trial run. Yeah, I did watch quite a bit of uh, like the trial gameplay for Diablo 4. Oh, man. The game looks uh, amazing. It looks really good. So far. I still don't even know what class. I know I don't. I know what class I'll never pick. What? Barbarian. Warrior? Barbarian. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Why you don't want to smash it's things? Boring. With, you want to use a smashy? It's always it's always melee based, like in close proximity stuff. Like I don't know. I like mid, I like middle. Like you can get range and and like the demon hunter on three was good. Yeah, the crusader was the best. Are you excited about a uh, um, Assassin's Creed? I just seen that in the yeah. image here. Yeah, this image. So this image. So we can move Yank on. Me the twenty twenty <laughs> the twenty twenty three games coming this is just a piece of it like the red yeah. ones i highlighted because i figured we'd be more interested in all right so on this list let's see diablo 4 yep final fantasy final fantasy 16 jedi survivors starfield liza p silk song Wo- wo long which is actually wo long's out uh tomorrow tomorrow yep yeah i should be able to play it and I-, I will do some gameplay um of that i have the capture card we can yeah mm-hmm. you gotta let me borrow it then gonna borrow your laptop too <laughs> yeah Oh, Wo Long, Liza P, Resident Evil. Oh, I'm hyped for that one. Uh, Stalker, since hey. it's going to come out now, since the war in Ukraine. Yeah. Where's um, Lord of the Fallen on this list? Oh, what they do don't mean? have a release date Lords yet. Of, no. These are, uh, some of them don't. <clears throat> a lot of these don't have. Yeah. Oh, well, they got uh, um, Legend, The Legend of Zelda. Is Does it have Final Fantasy? Uh, Final Fantasy. I didn't uh, even highlight that one. What's wrong with me? Yeah, I know. Final Fantasy uh, for, does have a tenant, I think, June release date for Final yeah, Fantasy it's a summer. 16. It's a summer release. Yeah. Uh, so that's Star good. Wars is July. Did you play the first Hollow Knight? Yeah. I'm seeing that I didn't on beat here. it. No, that game is really long. It's long. Surprisingly long. This one looks a little bit like faster, too. So Hollow Knight? Song, yeah. Hollow Knight's real good for the uh, no-hit uh, speedrunning community. I love that shit. Liza P, uh, would they put that August? Yes. I think August 23rd. I'd have to go back to our last uh, week's notes. To Starfield, we talked sure, about that. that. That's a possible June, July. Diablo's Starfield. in June. Oh, yeah. You have Starfield. Assassin's um, Creed is later in the year. It's fourth quarter. I'm not looking forward to that dog shit. But it's going to be, it's back to the original. The Mirage is the one that's fuck. back to the original. I don't, I I'm not hyped Jesus. for this game. But I'm keeping my eye on it because what if it's like the first three. Dumpster fire piece of shit. If it's like the Ezio co- over there, co- collection, Ubisoft. it's going to be better. I don't know. It'd be an original. Yeah, Ezio collection. But yeah, but then they can't just keep, like I said, they can't keep making the same fucking No, they're game. not. They're making two. They're going to make an open world. Yeah, I know. And they're going to make this one. I, uh, the actually, original style. Actually, uh, <clears throat> yeah, they're they're trying to, what they did with, uh, what was it, uh, Valaha? Valaha. <laughs> Valaha, they had that yeah. one. Yeah. They had uh Valhalla, Odyssey, and uh, yeah. Origins were they, all they open tried world. To, they tried to appeal to too many people yeah. and just made a piece of shit. And that game is exactly like Horizon Forbidden West. It's just this yeah. big fucking map with icons that you need to yeah, go you need check to out. Yeah, you run, run mm-hmm. here and run there. Yeah, I don't do I dislike greatly those games. Oh man, it becomes too much. Yeah, scale it down, bring it back to the no, like Assassin's Creed to... Two. And you you do that again. Oh man, it'll be great if they just take the icons off. Well, I I don't know. I I do not. I just don't like they're just exhausting. I get into it and overly long dialogue horseshit games. I it's do Oblivion like. and Skyrim, Fallout. It, hmm. They just don't give yeah. you the icons on the map. You have to explore them yourself. Yeah, and then I, you can skip a lot of the dialogue. And the mm-hmm. one thing I did like about, like, let's see, Hogwarts, one of the things I did like about it is that, you know, you didn't have to necessarily go through all the shit in their dialogue the before you could leave. No, but it had the exit. So you didn't have mm-hmm. to You didn't have to go through some of the follow-up questions. Yeah, I don't like, need the extra flavor in the conversation. Yeah. I just some, need to get out of here. Yeah, yep. Some games give you those follow-up questions. So I just start skipping those now, just all that shit. Baldur's as Gate much 3, as I fucking hate. I didn't circle on here either. Baldur's Gate 3 is August. Yeah. Okay. For PS5 and 
PC only. You didn't have Octopath. You're not excited for. I am not. A, no. Yeah, no, me neither. No. Not, not every, everything I didn't besides Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah, I'm gonna shit on Assassin's Creed fucking kick right now. It's uh, shit on that smart. So anyway, yeah, like I was uh, thinking about they, for Valhalla, they wanted to be all inclusive in the game and like catch all the people that like all the different elements. They're different games. They wanted to put that into one game and they did, and it flopped a little bit. And then, uh, I had fun so now that's why hours. they're making. Mm-hmm. What are they making? Like they're they're not just making two games. In the Assassin's Creed set, they got well, Assassin's working on Creed Red. Multiples. What is that? Well, that's yeah. the there's one that's like going to be in Feudal Japan. Four or five Japan. different fucking games. Yeah, there's a yeah. bunch of games planned. Yeah. But the only one is the big one that's coming this year. Yeah. I am not going to play that. I'm not going to say I'm not no. going to at all. I am not going to. I'm not going to waste the money on that. I don't game. think I, I don't think I'm going to pay $70, especially if something no. else come, one of these on this list comes out around there. Listen, there's, it's over. there's only one way to get these developers to stop putting out the same horse shit, and that's stop buying it. You heard that here. Yeah, no, yeah. Vote with your wallet. Yeah. yeah. Vote with your fucking wallet and stop buying this dog shit, and then maybe they'll fucking start making, some, like, Ubisoft's kind of in a slump, so there's that. Yeah, they're in trouble. Yeah. Game Pass, Wolong, we talked about it. Wolong comes out Tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. Right? Um, the third. I could fire up the Xbox right now and tell you exactly. But uh, it says the third, but it's playable. I've seen people playing it right now. Yeah. There's, mm. They use their time machine yeah. and uh, set their Xbox two days ahead. But, like, I, it's already downloaded. It's ready to go for me. Interesting. And uh, watch. The, the, the reviews didn't come out or nothing, right? Wow. I'm actually... Uh, Shocked! It's two days before the release. That makes me nervous. What did the reviews didn't come out? Why? Well, you well, have to make cyber, me nervous. Well, you, uh, not Cyberpunk. There's a couple. Man, I can't off the top of my head. When a game doesn't doesn't release review codes to people, it's typically because they're scared of the review. That it's gonna be shitty. Yeah, and it's not even it's not, not even that. I can't even prove that they are scared, but it, the facts are. A game that didn't release a code, and then the, all of a sudden everybody gets the codes and they shit all over. Yeah, it. but they put out ten hours or how many? Yeah, they put out the the, 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 demo. the demo. Yeah, mm-hmm. but like Cyberpunk, they did kind of something like that where they were like, "Hey, everybody gets a review code. It's for PC only, though." They, yeah, because it ran good on PC, and then it ran they good on really PC. Knew their audience on and that one. Fucking didn't they? <laughs> original. If you didn't have a like, fucking Series X or a, a P, you know, PS4 Pro, yeah, yours ran like shit. Okay, and I you experience that with me, like on my fucking regular ass C, uh, Xbox. Yeah, I it saw was it. It looked fucking, fucking terrible. Terrible. Yeah, <clears throat> I had the uh, the Xbox day one, so I did not experience some of those issues. I thought it ran all right. It ran all right on my Xbox, other than a few uh, glitches here and there, like the suitcase that was in the middle of the fucking door that I couldn't jump over and get around. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I was like, what in the hell is this? Just a floating fucking suitcase in the middle of the door. So Let's see. Oh, 44 gigs on Xbox Series X, huh? The Wolong. Wolong, yeah. It doesn't say anything about the embargo. What? The reviews on it? Mm-hmm. I is don't it? know. It looks, it looks all right to me from what I've seen. So I'll, I mean, I'm interested in it. I, just, I don't have my Xbox with me. That looks good. Most of the time. Yeah. So next, yeah, we want to get into the news. Get into the news. Yeah, we're gonna we got some YouTube news. Uh, since uh, YouTube CEO stepped down, Susan Wojcikowski's she that? stepped down. So uh, Neil Mohan has been NFT bro. Yes, he is. He's an NF, big NFT guy who's expressed interest in bringing NFTs and crypto stuff into the YouTube space. Which, um. Will just make it easier, I think, for you certain shady YouTubers to scam their audiences. That's just my feeling on it. Like they said that um, one of his ideas was to make specific YouTube videos. So now the content creator can sell that video Mm -hmm. as an NFT to like one person. Okay. Okay. So that, yeah, now you own this guy's video. So you have the receipt. I mean, everybody can still watch yeah, the video, but now it's know. like, now you have the exclusive rights to that video. 
I think uh, I'm not sure where these crypto people are going with some of this stuff. Everybody's watching this. I think anybody that's huge on YouTube is watching this. Oh yeah, More. they are. Yeah, they are. So, um, a lot of the people aren't. Um, a lot of the big YouTube people are just kind of they're in the wait and see thing because you can't really go out and start firing shots at a guy before he comes in onto the job, right? Yeah, he's been there for a while. He's been behind the scenes for yes. a little bit. Mm-hmm. But there, are, they have expressed a lot of concern with the crypto stuff, the, uh, NFT things. And uh, some of his ideas surrounding that. The one big thing that um, I is pretty much universal throughout most of the content creators that I watch. They hope when this guy comes in, they'll give the dislike button back. I think he was behind it, so I don't know. Yeah, uh, it, I think you're right. He, I did uh, hear something he, about that. He he helped with the shorts. Like it was, his his idea was with the shorts and yeah stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, the shorts mm-hmm. are all right. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. like TikTok, D- doubling down on streaming and podcasting, YouTube. What's that? Oh, are you looking up a story? Yeah, a different story on it. Oh, okay. And since YouTube is doubling down on streaming and podcasting. Yeah. Company plans they to launch do prime time channels. Definitely need because they do lag greatly behind Twitch in the streaming category. Yeah. And the crazy thing about that is the amount of users on YouTube compared to Twitch, mm-hmm. I think it would significantly help YouTube if they worked on their streaming a lot more. And got that, so it was more. It was easier to find the things he likes. I like Twitch, where you can just go follow the game, and then it'll. But YouTube doesn't have that kind. No, of thing. I don't think they're trying to get in that space. I think they're comfortable where they are. Well, they, they're not trying. They it. are yeah. in that space. Okay. Like you can stream on yeah. t- on YouTube live. YouTube live. Yes, and it has basically mm-hmm. all the same features that Twitch has, where you can subscribe, donate money. You know, you donate bits. Uh, the only thing is, is discoverability on it. Discoverability on Twitch has its own issues, but, uh, the discoverability and the algorithm for Twitch or for YouTube doesn't, is not very good. That's why most big stream, well, streamers just don't really stream. I think this, this, this story is more the, the creators, creators, how they, how this affects the public is. Not really an issue. It's gonna. We're going to consume YouTube no matter what. Uh, but I think creators are more like, well, what the fuck's gonna happen now? I don't know. I think it it's gonna affect your end user experience. You think so? Yeah. Yeah, especially know. with like <clears throat> with the like the YouTube their new rules for cursing and things like that. Yeah, that's that's uh, creators. No, but it also that. affects users if they're. Uh, if you're a user and so you have a content creator that uses one of their no, no words in the first, whatever seconds of the game, they might have a great video that's out there that you might be interested in the subject matter, but they will not show it on your timeline. They're, they're not, they're going to, they're going to, no, um, it doesn't come up strict algorithmically. It, 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 well, they're going to demonetize, right? They're going to demonetize it. Or they're going to take no, it out of the algorithm. Like, being. like if, if you know how, um, YouTube's, this. uh, their algorithm works if you're um no one knows basic, how it works completely uh, there's a, there's a, but there's people who've done like the, the whatever case studies behind their videos and tested certain things out with it but if you curse or whatever in the first whatever they have or excessive it cursing throughout, it just gets demonetized 15 it, seconds m- may not be able right. to run ads demonetized but mean it there's also it but if you don't curse net and the algorithm finds in there that something like you curse excessively or whatever during a video it puts that over 18 tag on it, mm-hmm. which is basically it nerfs its ability to grow blah, blah, and blah. spread. So at exactly 18 seconds into the video, let's see. But that's the, the curse. I, 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 uh, <clears throat> I don't think uh, cursing is a huge deal anyway. YouTube does. It's for advertisers, though. They're going to change they're it, advertisers. though. Yeah, they're, they're going to go back to the drawing board because it's not being like, positively received. But I think if I was like uh, uh, Unilever or something like that and I wanted my dial soap to sell, I think people that watch cursors use dial soap, too. So yeah. I, don't, like, I just don't see I think it's such a goofy thing. It is. That, it's really it, It's weird. Yeah. I don't like it. And so, neither the creators, so... No. We'll see what happens in a few. I mean, there's nothing you can do about it. 
The creators greatly <laughs> dislike the. <laughs> they just made a bunch of YouTube videos about it. Yeah. Yeah, there's been a lot of YouTube videos about it, especially since people don't under like nobody understands how the algorithm mm-hmm. works exactly. Nobody there's people it. that can kind of guess at how the algorithm mm-hmm. works, but then something out of the blue happens, like why the fuck did this get demonetized? Yep. And they're retroactively demonetizing videos that you curse within. I the just first know seconds. with your potty mouth, we're never gonna get monetized anymore. Fuck, <laughs> never. <laughs> You're the one fucking putting gay sex in the Vatican in no. our fucking titles. Well, that's an important story that needs to be covered. <laughs> it was. It, yeah. Hard hitting yeah. news. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, we, we do the dirty work. That's right. Yeah, we go deep and Not hard. As the Vatican was doing we go shit. deep and hard on the, on the gay sex <laughs> Vatican stories. Yep. Yeah, so you can get all the stories you need right here on Gamer Athletes. <clears throat> All right, so that that's pretty much the, that's the, YouTube, the YouTube bullshit. Thing. Yeah, we'll have to see what's going to happen with it over the next, uh, you know, years yeah. with under under Neil Mohan's uh, captainship. Yeah, yeah, it'll unfold. Xbox, Games. Uh, yep, getting yeah. into the game news. Yeah, we said it. I said Baldur's. I said it earlier. Baldur's Gate's yeah. coming out on PC and PS5 on August 31st, but not on Xbox. So why not? Kind of, I don't know. I didn't read into it too much. I was like, eh, I know on Twitter, Xbox people were, you know, up in arms. Uh, it was something <laughs> about they have a version bre- worked on, but it's not ready to go. So probably just resources, man. That would make sense. Larian Studios is great. They, I mean, it's better to hold off. You can get one of their classic RPGs, Divinity 2, uh, Original Sin 2, yeah. for 25 bucks right now. So I, I almost bought it. Just going to buy a PC. Yeah. Here soon, yeah. And then the big one was Stay to Play. Yeah, last, Sony last State week. To play. Yeah, did you watch through? Uh, I watched it a lot of it. Yep, I watched the whole thing. Did you? All right, run us through it then. Uh, Let's hear your the hot stuff. Takes. That, I mean, there's no real hot takes. I just didn't I know, like. Just uh, well, there's it. one. It's not my hot take. It's the internet's hot take. All right, what's the? They showed Resident hot Evil take? gameplay. I'm do- I'm excited. I'm fucking excited for that game because they're fixing a lot of the problems. That it had, even though it was already beloved. Here's a hot take. I'm tired of all the fucking releasing old games, remastering ah, old games. Yeah, that is a hot take because yeah. they're doing extremely well. Yeah, especially I'm, those Resident Evils. They are redone from the ground up. It's not even they're fucking taking the original code and like fixing it. They're just fucking remaking the game. It's an absolute remake. Huh. It's not a remaster. Huh. Yeah. I, I'm tired of seeing so good. Just remake after remake after remake after remaster after. Yeah, you played Demon's Souls, though. The remaster? Yeah, that's a remake. Yeah, good that's not fuck. a remaster. It's a remake. Yeah, but I didn't play uh, I didn't play it the first time. Dark Souls Dark remaster. Souls, yeah. That's a remaster. Yeah. Uh, Street Fighter VI looks dope. I mean, I don't like fighting games. That's the 90s is when fighting yeah. games were all the when rage. You can play it on the arcade? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you I know what I was... Mortal Kombat, <laughs> Mortal Kombat 2, Killer Instinct, all of it. Are you up on your Last of Us? No. Oh well, anyway, well you you know that the game they, they went to an arcade, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. They're um, so they go to an arcade and they're playing a uh, Mortal Kombat and they're doing fatalities. And I'm sitting there. This that was an immersion breaking moment for me. I'm like, how do these fucking kids who've never played Mortal Kombat before know how to they do got fatalities? Lucky. Maybe the they went to a Walden Books, yeah. like I used to go to, and then look it all up. Yeah, some of those mm. fatalities were hard to figure out. Some of them, not scorpions, yeah. up up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that one was easy. You just had to know how far to stand away yeah because that was another one yeah yeah all right go ahead Continue. Uh, street fighter foglands i'm gonna skip Baldur's Gate. foglands these are vr games two vr games that caught my attention i was like oh, okay these these look all right they need more of these before i go spend 500 dollars on a fucking vr2 we got a lot of shit is all this about suicide squad then yeah and then the big one was suicide squad got a lot of fucking airtime during that and Holy shit! What is it? This is going to be the DC version, off. DC version of the Avengers game. I mean, Gotham Knights was supposed to be, and that's exactly what they're saying. They're like that, that Avengers game came out and flopped. It's four player yeah. fucking co op online bullshit. Yeah. Buy a bunch of skins. Suicide Squad made by uh, Rocksteady. Yep, did the Arkham Knight, or well, Arkham Asylum, Arkham uh, City, and Arkham Knight. Like they made those three amazing Batman games. So everybody's like, oh, okay, you're going to get a fucking co op. Batman free flow combat style game, and it's not what we got. They showed it, and it fucks. it fucking sucks. I'm not going to play it. Fucking no. I, I don't honest, think a I'm lot of people are going to play it now. 
Because they, when they showed the menu, it had like the social tab, the store, looked like fucking Fortnite, right? Yeah. So you got a gear score. So you got Captain yeah. fucking Boomerang, who's supposed to use boomerangs and melee combat, and he's fucking shooting guns. <laughs> it's weird. Maybe he wants to use uh, guns. Maybe he it's wants to weird. branch no, out. No, they want you to Captain buy Boomerang's skins a for that stupid gun. Stupid name. It's anyway. a stupid name. Captain the, Boomerang. DC is always weird for me. Like they've never. But like, yeah. yeah. Rocksteady, who had What's such an amazing power? combi. Yeah, he throw boomerangs, dude. <laughs> I throw a stick and it comes back to me. The boomerangs doing all the work. <laughs> it's, it's coming dumb, back. <laughs> yeah. So, but like, it looks better because it is it is uh, a good studio. Rocksteady. It looks better than Gotham Knights. Gotham Knights got shit on because it just was a mediocre game, and then a Suicide Squad looks just like that, just a better version. Like yeah. shooting purple orbs, like on tanks. Like, it's not even creative. It's just like, just shoot this weak spot. It'll blow up. Like, that's it. Just run around, swing around. Visually, what I saw from it, the game looks good, but it just, just not, I don't know. The gameplay is not there for me. Always online connection for single player. Yeah, that's right. There's a couple of games that were doing that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They were doing the always online for single player. Yeah. Uh, There's a battle pass, fucking skins. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, I know, man. It's like, going to be exciting. Oh, my God. Like, everything, everybody's, like, was so hyped because they were like, yes, this is what we wanted because Gotham Knights let everybody down. Nope. It's the same. It's the same thing, just from a different. Uh, so there's stories about it, too. There's uh, Rocksteady wanted to do a Superman game. Did like, they? In the style of the Arkham games. Uh-huh. And they're, okay, yeah. There was people on board. Warner Brothers, the publisher, was like, they nope. They huh? Nope. <clears throat> this is why they not go. like Superman. Oh, because it's going to be a single player game, and that's what they should do. I know, but the, no, Warner Brothers said, "No, no, 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 no." I am Cancel actually that. surprised. Go make money on this game right here. Like I said, we just keep getting more of the single players are selling like crazy mm-hmm. right now. Hogwarts mm-hmm. Legacy, Elden Ring, God of War. Uh, when uh, jumping on this like Battle Pass, Breath shit. of the Wild Two comes out because I think it's because they're they're in that safe. It's that safe thing. They don't put out a. They're gonna. I mean, the game probably will make a profit for them. Suicide Squad. It's gonna make money. Yeah, there's people out there that can't help right. themselves. So it's something that they can go back and they can show mm-hmm. shareholders or whatever that they made a little yeah. bit of a profit. I'm gonna off go for They Harley didn't spend Quinn's a lot. Yeah. Every fucking skin that yeah. she has, right? Like, yeah. So big it's deal. safe. They're not doing anything groundbreaking. Not anything. So like. I'm not going to play it. Did you watch the video? Like, I I love the, that they make these, like, professional videos with interviews with the developers, and they, like, try and, like, church up the fucking... House. So we got a thing called the gear score, right? Like, yeah, I know what the fuck you're selling yeah. me, dude. <laughs> Don't fucking try and uh, high production value this yeah. shit. Like, who? I, it's bullshit. Numbers is what on the screen. Is. Get you a fucking better gun so your number goes up. Yeah. And then you don't like the way it looks? Go buy that fucking skin. Yeah, look how high this gear, gear oh, score is. look at his fucking gold. Cool. Man. Like, no, fuck you. Yeah. Yeah, and then the game doesn't change. It's the same. So now you can blow up that purple orb on that tank faster. Yeah, they keep fuck off. Uh, these games, I don't, large American production studios well, with their games. Genshin Impact is Chinese. It was a lot Is it Chinese? Genshin it, Impact? Yeah, mm-hmm. Genshin Impact. <clears throat> Valorant. Uh, MMO stuff. Valorant is... Tencent. What? Yeah. Valorant has its own problems. Valorant's not even like... Oh, it, like what is it? It's like online. Overwatch, Diet mm-hmm. diet yeah. Overwatch. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But uh, everybody, yeah. Everybody's got these space. games, man. Just, everybody's cashing in. I think it's a lot more prevalent when you get to large game studios in mm-hmm. the United States. And so, here's your game, Lords of the Fallen. Yes, I am. I'm, I don't know. I'm excited for this game to come out. It looks fantastic. As long as the gameplay is good on it, as long as there's not a bunch of yeah. overly pushy cutscenes and bullshit uh, in it, and they got the the Millennia. Clone. I'll be happy with it. Uh, listen, I don't know. It says Lords of the Fallen and Elden Ring may share some accidental similarities. So I guess they developed, and when Millennia came out, because this game is was actually in development for longer than Elden Ring. Yeah, it's a reboot of, like it says, Lord, of, of Lords of the Fallen 2014. Yeah, action role playing game. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I guess uh, after they after Millennia came out, they they noticed that they did share some similarities with their boss, one of their uh, bosses. So the so, boss. Yeah, it says. 
Lords of the Fallen is a Souls-like dark fantasy game with core features being split between uh, the realm of the living and the realm of the dead. That sounds good. The RPG is due to release at some point in 2023, and fans are already making comparisons to From Software's Elden Ring. So there are some... <clears throat> There are some pressures, as you can imagine. Hexworks creative director Cesar Ver- Vertoso? I don't know. Said in an interview with Edge Magazine, people have asked, do you guys have horse combat, and do you have an open world? Yeah. So. They give credit to where credit's due on yeah. to, to Mizaki and stuff. Yeah, they said they drew a lot of inspiration yeah. from his works. Um, he said the Elden Ring trailer... Like and, and that killed us inside. One of our break, breakthrough <laughs> yeah. weapons, the flail. Yeah, like, Fuck. <laughs> yeah, it was showcased. Oh man. Yeah, yeah. the flail kind of sucks. And yeah, a flail does suck. Yeah, in Elden Ring, shitty weapon. Period. In all games. So maybe somebody needs to come out with a great flail game, which this might be. This might be their great. Oh, this is it. This is the yeah. one to bring. Flail and we saw one of our tree. bosses that was nearly identical to Millennia. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's a fun boss. Bitch. So. She's pissing. She's kicking my ass. Um, I'm just got to learn how to dodge that waterfowl, baby. It's not, I don't know. I like Melania. She's an interesting, fun fight. So, And I didn't cheat when I fought her. You yeah, cheated. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yep. You, this is Chris's fucking Elden Ring yeah, that's section. Right. The Elden yeah. Ring corner. Yeah. <laughs> Sucking off from software. <laughs> yep. Yeah. That's Actually, right, though. Speaking of Mizaki, Miyazaki, whatever the fuck his name is, uh, Shinji Mikami retiring. Big name. Yeah, Big name. Tango you, Gameworks. You, even if you don't play, you're a casual, what, normie? You call them normies? Yeah, normies. That's what, that's you not played what I call one them. Of this that's just vernacular. Game. You've played Resident Evil. You kn- he, he directed that, right? Dino Crisis, Beautiful Joe, Steel Battalion, which came with a huge controller for Xbox. Like It's one of the biggest peripherals ever made. Peripherals. Peripheral. Yeah. Uh, Evil Within, Ghostwire, and recently Hi-Fi Rush. Well, I played uh, Resident Evil on Hi-Fi Rush. I know of Dino Cry. I played Beautiful Joe. That was a really good game on the GameCube. Beautiful. Which, hello, let's bring it to fucking Switch. Uh, Ghostwire Tokyo will be a free game offered to us over PlayStation. Okay. It's like a survival. Eh, not a survival horror. It's more of just like an action horror game. You like the action horror games, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I'll try it. You like being Such spooked? Free. I like to try and be spooked. Like, I, I, nothing will... I'm, I'm chasing the dragon, dude. I'm, like, I'm yeah. trying to... I'm tr- the first time I ever played Resident Evil was me and my cousin and a friend of mine. And, like, it had never been done, right? That game yeah, that was, was fucking groundbreaking. Genre, yeah. I had to rent a PlayStation from Blockbuster Video. Oh, my goodness. That's going way back. Yeah. We had no clue. We didn't know what the... We were like, oh, somebody... Heard, one of us had heard about Resident Evil. We're like, oh, let's try this game. Fucking, we, the first thing you do, you get in the, the mansion. So we're like, all right, we'll try the fucking front door. Right? So when you open the front door, an animation plays and a fucking dog jumps out. Nice. Scared the shit out of us. I then do. there's a dog in the room with you and you got to kill it. Yeah, I remember playing that game. Yeah. I don't remember like, significant parts of it. But yeah, that game was. Yep. It was like a, it was a thing. <clears throat> the static camera. It was a thing back then. There was no moving cameras. No, so when you went not. from room to room, the camera was positioned and that was the fucking angle you had. Yeah, and he talked about it. He said that was an accident, right? He, yeah. he, it was a technical limitation that they had to hit, and for pre-rendered backgrounds and shit like that. And then he said, "That's why he made two, because he was like, I want to do something with different." But it, but what happened was that accident made the game scarier. Like you're like, oh shit, I can't see around corners. So a happy little yeah, accident. Huh? It was a happy accident. Made the hmm. game, but then they did four in Resident Evil 4. It just kind of blew everything out of the water with the over the shoulder, over the shoulder, over behind, the shoulder yep, camera. Yep, yep. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. I re- that game was massive back in the day. The very oh. first Resident Evil. Oh came man, out. it was. Re- to play with. They remade it for GameCube. Yeah, Leon. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> they fixed a lot of problems with that that. Yeah, but he's retiring, so he's a big name. He'll probably still advise people and you know consultant when you're making a game. You can oh. hit him up. Yeah, I did. I had a lot of fun with that. Played it on the uh, original PlayStation. Oh man, yeah, that game was it was good. good stuff, man. Yep, good stuff. Huge Valve ban on Dota. Dota two. Yeah, trying to catch those fucking cheaters out those there. Fu- man, you can't just play, 
Right? No, you got to cheat. They got to go into the game and use their mimic tears. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> this Fucking is like cheaters. a huger, huger thing. A, a huger. This is, it's huge. huge. A bigger thing on the you know online competitive spaces, though. Cheaters. Yeah, everywhere. Every, every, every game bot comes and, up with, they find something, they exploit it, and that's it. Like, but, you see when, when somebody cheats or bots or uh, server jumps and things like that on, like, uh, what is it, Call of Duty, you know, when yeah. people do that. Like, the invisible, you can go invisible and hide inside a rock in yeah. one of the maps. Yeah, yeah they go, mm-hmm. it's like, the people go nuts on that and, like, out and cheaters. This it's fucking great. Out, they, they did good. They They found out how they were cheating. Yeah. And then they set a little fucking trap with a patch. So anybody that was cheating using that method, they figured out how to uh, identify these people. Yes. And they fucking permabanned them. 40,000 accounts. 40,000. That is a lot of accounts. <laughs> Holy using shit. Using third-party software to cheat over mm-hmm. the past few weeks. Yep. These players use software to look at internal data in the Dota client and or that isn't ordinarily vis- visible during gameplay. Yep. And then from that secret area, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, Valve priority ban. was fixed. Fixed the issue at, that allowed cheating in the first place. However, Valve has t- has taken extra steps to get rid of these players, with the goal in mind that we release a patch as soon as we understood the method that mm-hmm. uh, these cheaters were using. So good for Valve banning good cheaters. For yeah. Good for them. They're doing the Lord's work out there. They're trying getting rid of cheaters and cheaters. I yeah, don't cheaters play Dungeons of the game. Ancients. Yeah, I don't play. It's one of those three lane hero, uh, like objective games. That's one of the Not things me, man. when you're playing Fortnite, and you get beamed from across the map. Yeah, by an AR. He's cheating, and you can't even see the guy. <laughs> Aimbot. Yeah. Yep. Aimbotting. Still more Hogwarts Legacy it bullshit fucking, coming out. It never ends, dude. Uh, I'm just gonna die down eventually. It, it, it's just, you it's have that all the and time. Then, see, so now we have we have two stories back to back. One about Hogwarts and one about um, the uh, what? Oh, Atomic Heart. Oh yeah, the, the, the con- yes. con- controversial stuff. Yeah. yeah, these two games people oh don't like God, them, man. Like, sure, this another uh, inverse dot com shits on Hogwarts Legacy. Same shit. The magic is gone from the wizarding world. Where is the magic? Uh, it is a middling game, but like, sure, yes, it's 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 not an amazing masterpiece. It's not it's it, it's a masterpiece in the regards of recreated Harry, Harry Potter's world really well, but it, the game itself is not something great. It does have real world costs, so. but yeah, it affects the real world in a negative way yeah. because. They're doing harm to people. They're doing harm to people. And at the end of this article, you can uh, call the Trans Life Hotline. Oh, that's right. It's at the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. We should call if, that. If you're worried about something, I mean, if you, or maybe Hogwarts Legacy hurt you, I don't know. Uh, but this is one. This yeah. is uh, in, in, in pure hypocrisy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's the a nice article. hard line underneath the article from the same website. It's inverse. right underneath where it's it gives you the U.S. Trans Life Hotline yep. is now available. For anybody interested, that number is 877 656 Eight eight, eight zero. eight eight zero. Where's what, the other where's the number? The number? The <laughs> they, well, they even they I don't know. Even their, their numbers, numbers are weird. <laughs> even their cell phone numbers are fucked what up. What the shit? They cut off their wieners yeah. and the last number of their phone numbers. Did, yeah. <laughs> Hogwarts <laughs> Yeah. So then there's a fucking a hard line in the article. new article. How to solve every arithmetic door puzzle in the game. So they hmm. tell they shit on the game and then they're like, hey, here, we'll help uh, you play yeah, the game. Well, yeah, while, you're, <laughs> while we're at it, here's a tutorial. <laughs> Different authors, but still, yeah. the point is you, you publish both of these. So you're, you're back to back contradicting on the same fucking yourself page. on the same page. I yeah. thought that was funny when I found it. I was like, what? <laughs> hey, fuck this game. But here, we'll help you. Yep. You you want to shit on it, but you want people to click your fucking See, shit. To here's help. here's a here's a a, a poll quote from um, this article. It's the a, shitty a, one, yeah, about yeah, the shitty article. The uh, hit piece. The Serona Serona Ryan character in the series does not meaningfully address the shortcomings. You just but only makes them more apparent. You just can't make people happy, no matter what you do. Oh. If Serona is a, you don't know this. Serona is another Cho Chang or Kingsley Shackbolt. What? The East Asian and the black characters whose cringeworthy names. The, the people are saying they're cringeworthy. This is original story content. Yeah, well, I think Cho, like, uh, the Cho Chang thing was because um, 
it was a, the the name was a different uh like area like a, so it was like I I don't know remember what the character was I don't know enough about it but I know so I'm just giving she was Asian right but it was a different like that name is one kind of Asian sure from a different area and yeah. then this age so it was like uh, you named them wrong it's like um be like having um I don't know maybe a Jose or something when I they're guess, from man. Uh, Canada Cho Chang Kingsley Sh- yeah so they're both from America shit. but when the books were out, nobody was complaining about this. <laughs> Those yeah. names have been around for lots of lots of years. Nobody ever complained about it when the book came out. Dude, I, I, too be, people were too busy loving. What the books. book was in Cho Chang? What book was Cho Chang in? Uh, she was introduced in book four. Yeah, yeah, book yeah. four and on. And what, what's wrong with the <laughs> what's wrong with the Kingsley Shacklebolt name? So I don't know. I guess it's it's too black of a name, and they don't like it. Like it's offensive, and the people that are complaining are not black, probably. They are probably not. They're probably middle aged white Karens. I mean, there. Black Panther's T'Challa, and he lives in Wakanda. Like, yeah, <laughs> nobody's bitching about that. You know, yeah. Um, oh, just, people are bitching. Just fucking leave it know. alone. People got to bitch about some outrage culture. Mm-hmm. I think I want to join that actually. Just outrage, outrage culture. culture. <laughs> just find whatever to Virtue be pissed off about all yeah. the time, all day, and long. just make people fucking sick. Yeah, just go on just Twitter do it at work, Twitter, and do and fight the good fight. I'm gonna. I think today I'm just gonna call everybody out. I'm gonna do an just experiment. Fucking call them. Hey, out. you can't fucking do that. Yeah, it is funny to do that to people. And like, really, like di- when I called you a cracker once, <laughs> doesn't bother me. You really, you can't fucking say oh, that. Oh yeah, it was a joke. Yeah, you can say whatever you want. You can't say that. Yeah. Only I can say that. <laughs> oh, that's that's my word. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Get out of here. <laughs> so this goes into like. Um, Mi- the the Ministry of Digital Transformation. This is over. Uh, it sounds- story comes out of Ukraine. <laughs> yeah, that sounds not ominous at all. It sounds transgendery. No, the Minister no, no, of no. Digital Transformation. No, this sounds like anytime you have a ministry of something in government, that's <clears throat> Ministry of Magic in Hogwarts. <gasps> Makes me think of the in Harry Potter. Uh, yeah, 1984. The Ministry of Truth that just fills the ever with bullshit. <clears throat> but anyway, the Ministry of Digital Transformation wants. Xbox, PlayStation, and like Steam and other play- outlets to remove um, Atomic Heart from their online game stores. So the the Ministry of Digital Transformation uh, will send an official letter to Sony, Microsoft, and Valve to ban the sale of Atomic Heart in Ukraine. Do you think there's a lot of atomic people playing Atomic Heart in Ukraine? I don't even. I can't even believe that there are that many people playing this fucking game. Not not. I don't think I, I'm not sure how many people are playing it, but you know it's a controversy, so people are going to lean into it and they're going to write stories about yeah, it. Yeah, they're using There's it probably for some dumb shit. Oh my god! Yeah, Atomic Heart is a Russian game by Munfish Studios, sponsored mm-hmm. by Russian publisher Gaijin and uh, Gazprom top manager and Atoli. Whatever I can't read some of these Russian things. Atoli Pili. Mm-hmm. That was pretty uh, good. that was reported by a Ukraine uh, blogger. The developers are trying to pretend. That there are a what is that? Crypto Studios, uh, but the event media representation in Moscow and Russia sponsors immediately shows who the authors really are. So they're they're saying that it's, yeah, it's that this the Soviet game, Union, big deal. Yeah, that this game directly funds like uh, I know the war yeah. in Ukraine. Ugh. Yeah, and it's Russian propaganda, and that so. Um, and then and they're writing the story while drinking yeah. a big glass of Stolich night. Yeah. So it says, here's the, here's the whatever. <laughs> Come on. They urge people not to buy the game and not to sponsor the Russian government. So. This fucking exhausts me. Oh, they're coming out. That's a nice DeLorean. DeLorean. Yeah, that DeLorean Ooh, looks dope. Is yeah. it an EV? Electric cars? Might be. Fuck yeah, the Russian fucking cars. controversy. Look at this thing. This thing's awesome. Yeah. I'm going to get one of those. You're going to get a DeLorean? Hell the yeah. The DMC-12. Huh? Me and Norse can race. Yeah, he's got that new, yeah, the new yeah. Mustang, the electric Mustang. Yeah. So that's the Ministry of yeah, Digital. Okay. Like anytime yeah. I see something like that, the Ministry, the the, the Ministry of War, the Ministry of Peace in 1984, Ugh. makes me worry about that stuff. Ooh, speaking of um, government involvement in video games, really, Ubisoft and police team up in UK. The police. Yeah. <clears throat> so oh. toxic gaming <laughs> tackled. By Ubisoft Whoa. and unique police alert system. So if you're being toxic in a game, I 
Let me read the bold part. Sure. Let me read this bold part. So, <laughs> rape jokes, what, racism, say, yeah. bullying. Toxic gaming, tackled by Ubisoft. Yeah. Rape jokes, racist bullying. If you picked up a controller or scrolled a mouse yeah. to dabble in some online gaming, then you've likely come across plenty. Yeah. Yeah. It's brutal out there. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. It is. You know, but it's, it's, but it's, now you can have real world consequences for. Um, <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> so they're working with online gaming is a joyful <sighs> experience for millions of people every day. Don't ruin it, though, or we'll get the police involved. So I don't know if you know much about UK's uh, hate speech laws. No. No. I don't know a lot about them either, but I do know. Uh, there was a guy a couple of years ago, Count Dankula. I don't know if you've heard uh, this story. No. Count Dankula had, uh, his girlfriend had a pug. And she just fawned over this pug all the time. So he, as a joke, taught it to do, when he'd say Heil Hitler, it would raise its <laughs> paw. It would raise its paw. <laughs> so, oh, shit. as a joke. That's hilarious. Yeah, as a joke, he, he <laughs> filmed this dog doing this. He's like... You know, my girlfriend thinks this dog is the cutest. He's, so in the video, he is actually like, I tried to figure out the most uncute thing that I could make this fucking dog do. Nailed it. So he did. Yeah, he nailed it. But then they actually arrested the guy. Unbelievable. They arrested him and he had to go to court and had to do all that stuff. So UK's uh, hate speech and stuff is full of gray wow. areas and things like that. So if you have... It's, so this this just runs into a huge issue when you can actually have real world consequences Fucking for cursing at someone. I mean, and I'm not saying that you should go online and use racial slurs. And no, this and that. yeah. Do I think you should do it? No. Do I think you should get in trouble but, for it? Also, no. Listen. This, the, the lobbies have been this way for fucking decades. For, since it's they had not, lobbies. Those haven't changed. Yeah. The fucking change was the fucking baby years, right? Now all these people are fucking sensitive. You can't take a fucking, you know. Listen, people are not always, tell, just they're just joking with you. Some people are literally joking. Some people are serious. And I think the serious stuff, we can't go online now. We're policing it, right? Now we're going to police it online. And Yeah, now we're going to police it you're, online you're with AI. You're not joking. You're, telling, you're saying these slurs. You shouldn't be saying slurs. I, I, I'll agree with Can that. Can you imagine you getting that. swatted for yeah. saying a racial slur? Yeah, fucking real. <laughs> what <laughs> the fuck? fucking talking shit. You make it. A casual rape joke online, and all of a sudden the I police mean, are banging on your door. <laughs> okay, even if you didn't make a casual, like who, who, who's de- like? Of course, those are those are extreme, like things. What if you just make some? I just said like cracker thing. Yeah, like, uh, yeah. Now the fucking swats. If we were playing, get me. Uber, yeah. If we were playing, who's? I don't think cracker falls on that line. But, the, but who's gonna fucking define it? That's the problem, right? Like, so what are we gonna? What, who's gonna say? Well, uh, this is gonna be offensive that, because I find it offensive. Therein lies the problem when you engage so in thought crimes. Yeah, thought crimes, man. That's like, basically what it is. Yeah. It's like Minority Report. A, I think about saying yeah. a racial slur and <laughs> fucking cops come in. Yeah, they're basically trying to, to figure out what your intent is by saying something or whatever. When it could be just you joking around with some friends, but AI is not going to tell the difference whether you're joking around with friends or you're actually harassing some rando in a lobby. Like Clinton, if Clinton's here, well, there's three. We're three different nationalities or ethnicities. Like we're gonna, we joke about it. So all three of us are gonna go to jail. Yeah, we might. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then we have to or go he's plead safe, our, plead and our then case. I'm safe, and then you're the last. No, like, yeah, the least I'd safe. be the one. Yeah, fucked you're fucked, right? right? Especially if people policing it are eth- are. No, ethnic, it's not. Right? No, that's I'm not where saying. you run into the problem. It's when you get fucking these snowflake, like I said, middle aged white women who want to be offended on everyone's problem. behalf. I don't know yeah. if I can get in trouble for saying uh, middle aged virtue signaling white women. Oh, man, it's pretty offensive. I don't know. <laughs> who the fuck knows? Yeah, well, I, it, those Karens. Yeah, that's, that that's, a, that's a slur now. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, people that are named Karen are actually getting mad about this. Halo Karen 2 thing. lobbies were brutal. Early yeah. Call of Duty lobbies were brutal. Like, you yeah. just, it toughened you up. Like, all right, man, the world isn't nice. I'm not, again, you shouldn't be this way to people in your work, in your real life. But, like, nah, you it's a be. lobby. People's Honestly, talking shit. Shouldn't. People are talking shit. Yeah, talking shit is fine. When you get into the racial slurs and stuff like that, I don't agree with I don't it. Agree but with it I think all. someone should be arrested for doing it. No. Yeah. No. Swatting shit that people got in trouble for, 100%. Yeah. You, yeah. you Fuck you. Yeah. You did something fucking shitty. Yeah, but you there's got already. Killed. There's also penalties for swatting. Swatting is not legal. There's some There's some real world fucking consequences. Bullshit. You, you Hogwarts crying babies. That had a real world consequence. 
not yeah. fucking releasing a game. Like people got killed because of the swatting shit. Yes, yeah. There was a guy. What did they swat? They swatted the one guy, and then it was they went the to right the wrong house. house. Yeah, yeah. And the guy came out. And he's like, "What the fuck's going on?" And they shot. Pop, him. pop, pop. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. But you know, transgender, uh, yeah. the character in the game. Ugh. That shit you're gonna cry about. Fuck off. There's people have real problems. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. So Ubisoft. Or Ubisoft teaming up with police. Uh, yeah. Not a good look, I don't think. That's no, just... That's not. That's just one man's opinion. We'll see what the world says in, you know, six months. Mm, yeah. The UK's got weird... Like I said, I don't know a lot about the hate speech laws over there. I just know that they have them. Mm-hmm. So, you hopefully know. this kind of thing doesn't come to America. No. Where you yeah, can still... It's only a matter of time, right? Where you can still... Have the nostalgic feeling of hearing racial slurs <laughs> uh, in a lobby. So comforting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. While wow, you're oh, shitting Martinez, on kids. What do you got? Tacos for lunch? Uh, uh, that's it's not, yeah. That's not. A, that's not. That's not. <laughs> that's a stereotype. I even though yeah. I'm not fucking Mexican. We've uh, talked about this. This is the whole casserole thing. Uh, over yeah. Again. Casserole. Yeah. yeah. High schooler. Pummeled unco- wait, <laughs> unconscious at yeah. for taking away his Nintendo Speaking Switch. Speaking of hey, lobbies fucking, being yeah. brutal, yeah. fucking real life got brutal for this lady. Yeah, this <laughs> she was just a fucking uh, a high school what like, is this? aide. She was an aide. Yeah, you gotta. Yeah, they're always trying to sell you something. Yeah, yeah, maybe later. This chick was knocked unconscious and repeatedly kicked in the head Listen, for taking this kid's Nintendo Switch. She probably shouldn't have tried to take a Switch this, away. We're in Florida. This is in Florida, Jacksonville. Oh, shocker. <laughs> yep. Yep. Florida man. <laughs> a, wor- a woman working at a North Florida high school mm-hmm. was knocked unconscious and reportedly kicked in the head. Repeatedly. For confiscating, confiscating a student's Nintendo Switch, according to a Flagler County Sheriff's Office. Yep. She ended up in the hospital, and 17-year-old ended up in handcuffs. They did arrest him. They're going to take his switch away for sure now. Oh, he's not getting another yeah, one. Yeah, no, he's not getting no. back. He, 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 he might as well kiss that new model goodbye. I know. When it comes well, out they, with the iteration, you're like, he, he fuck. Probably, yeah, he'd probably be out. How much time do no you get? No tears of the kingdom teacher. for him. More like tears yeah, of yeah. something. He's I don't be, even know. Just don't drop the switch when you're in, uh, <laughs> in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he might, he might stay in, in detention and then get uh, tried as an adult. So it happened on February 21st. He's 17. High school in Palm Coast, about 60 miles south of Jacksonville. He, uh, the student stated he was upset because the victim took his switch away from him during class. I'd be upset. Uh, fucking yeah. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Says yeah. De- 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 deputy arrived at high school about 10, 15 a.m. This guy, he was probably in the middle of playing Dark Souls. He was a big dude. Pause it. I watched the video. He was, there's a video on this? Yeah. Cool. Is it in here? Uh, Actually, I probably I'll, shouldn't say cool. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> it's too, <laughs> I know. <laughs> it reminds me of the fucking old, the movie Old School where he's, he's, oh, where'd you get this house? I'm going to Oh, hell. the guy that I rented it from, he died. Oh, yeah. that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm probably going to hell for that one. Deputy arrived at the school about 10, 15 a.m. to find the teacher's teaching assistant on the ground with severe injuries from an unprovoked attack. I think it was provoked. She, yeah. She took she his took fucking switch. switch away. Here, it's on you. It's this on. is journalistic journalistic integrity at its worst right here. Yeah. That was definitely provoked. I mean, yeah. The student was upset because the victim took his Nintendo Switch away. From him during class. You know, all jokes aside here, who's the real victim in this? I mean Nintendo. He was just trying to he was just trying to play some games, man. Nintendo, man. He was just trying to play some games. There you go. Wait, is this the video? I, yeah, I got it. All right, let's watch turn. this video and react. There we go. Here he is. Boom. Oh man. The he football coach was there. He'd be like, he'd be like, yo, yo, recruit him. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, he. There's wow, he didn't stop either. Boom, boom, boom. She's done. She's out. Yeah, she's been out for a while now. And he I'm not going. gonna lie, dude. That guy what a who just attack. took that kid off yeah. has the restraint of a superhero. I would have fucking knocked that kid out. I don't know. That's a big kid. I don't give a fuck. He's distracted. Look, it takes wow. four fucking people to take this dude down. Yeah, that guy was real mad, wasn't he? 
Felony aggravated battery. Jesus. Yep. What are they putting in the water in he's Florida? Gonna, he's going to... Uh, They're putting some stuff down there. He's going to spend some time in the pound me in the ass prison. Yeah. Well, he's 17, too. He'll probably be charged as an adult. Yep. Which is a weird uh, weird gray area. Oh, they'll just me. hold him in detention until he turns 18. <laughs> And then try it. We have the right to a speedy trial here in the uh, good old yeah. United States of America. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, don't pummel people for taking your Nintendo Switch away unless you want to get pummeled in prison. Kindly in the, ask for it back. You have those booty cheeks clapped oh. while in prison. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. So, so I was kind of fucked up, though. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I can't unsee that, that now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see. Moving on to uh, like TV news. TV Secession uh, is ending at season four. You're Great a show. big Secession I'm a fan. big Secession yeah, fan. I like Secession. I like Shiv. Yeah. Nice so redhead. fucking She's thirsty, pale redhead. Man. Every time, every time. You're, what? You're a misogynist. I point out, I point you're a fucking misogynist. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know, my God. They're gonna, I don't appreciate this hostile lobby I'm in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> fucking misogynist. Get him. So anyway, yeah, it's a good show. I I do enjoy it. I've watched every season so far. Mm-hmm. <coughs> I enjoy the secession, the fuckery and the backstabbing and all the tomfoolery there that was that a family bunch of, gets up to. Uh, there was a bunch of shit about that. There's stuff about the show that wasn't brought to light the way like they're doing the Hogwarts thing and the everything else. Everything else. In the what world. do you mean? Well, what are you talking about? The right show's now? about rich Where white people, at? yeah, right. Uh-huh. And everybody's like, oh, there's no. Uh, I've seen it on Twitter. It, it's it's yeah. tiny. It doesn't blow up. There's not a lot of uh, what uh, inclusion, right, for ethnicities, blah, blah, blah. They're always like the housekeepers and shit and like the doormen. Huh. And I was like, yeah, yeah. I was like, but you know what? Show's still good. Yeah, but we all think they're all slimy and scumbag. Right. I, yeah, I know. That's what, yeah. uh, And people are online still crying about stuff yeah, like that. Sli- what do you want? <laughs> you, you want it's people weird. of color cast in the I don't want anything. Like I, I enjoy the show yeah, as I like it. the it's show, fine. too. The dad makes me laugh. It's a bunch of scumbags. That's <laughs> all they are is a bunch of scumbags. Yeah. Like, it's, who wants that? I mean, I they got money, but I don't want to live like they do. No. Somebody somebody posted on Twitter. It was like, yo, what's the best show that doesn't have black people in it on TV? Right? <laughs> somebody and Norris, that? Yeah, somebody posted. And Norris he fucking tweeted yeah. on it. He was like, succession. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh. That's when I noticed yeah. that. I was like, oh, shit, he's not wrong. That show's amazing. Yeah, that show's pretty good. Yep. Yeah, there's not a lot of inclusion. I can't in wait. That. I can't wait for that. I saw the trailer for the new one. It looks really good. Yeah. Like I said, there are a bunch of scumbags, and you just hate the shit yep. out of all of them for a different reason. But that show man, looks good. Engaging this... characters or whatever. Yep. And Next show. Kendall with his druggies, the drug addiction stuff. Oh, yeah, daddy's boy. Yeah. He wants to be loved. Yeah, and then Roman with his weird sexual stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he likes, <laughs> what is he, he likes jerking off in front of older ladies. Yeah, or whatever fucking Tom, fuck Tom yeah. and his big betrayal at the end of the season. He's such so a good. cuck. Yeah. Tom. Yeah. What a cuckold. With his weird friend. Uh, what's the tall kid's oh, name? Oh, that's uh, the, the, he's the nephew. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but he's like slimy in his own right too. I might watch that again. Yeah, he's doing like he does the underhanded shit, and that's it's a good show. Yeah, yeah, it makes me giggle. It does. It's yeah. so funny, and like all the money, yeah, really good. Yeah, that that's good. And then this next show is not good. We'll see. We'll it's see. For, well, that's not. This goes into my thing here. The uh, uh, the facts don't lie. No. Okay. Statistics. So, <clears throat> Lord of the Rings is going to be rebooted. They did say that Peter Jackson was going to be possibly consulting on this. And he was not consulted on Rings of Power. Right. So there's a couple of uh, key phrases that always make me go, ooh, I don't know about this show. When they say something that they're going to remake it for a newer audience, Mm -hmm. there's always, like, key for, we're going to make this a big political statement. That's a red flag. <clears throat> yeah, red flag in a show. So uh, they're going to reboot. A new era. Yeah, yeah, reboot Lord of the Rings. So it looks like uh, looks like we're all set for a return to Middle Earth on the big screen, as it has been reported that Lord, and this is by Warner Brothers too. Yeah. We'll say, because they, what do they, they own the IP. They own it. Yep. They own the IP for Lord of the Rings. 
will be getting a reboot. The news, which was announced by Warner Brothers, Discovery CEO David Zaslav. That sounds like a white name. It's probably Russian. Oh, oh boy. (laughs) During an earnings call, coming on the heels of the successful uh, uh, reputation received by Lord of the Rings of Rings of Power. I see... I did not get that from the Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power. I didn't watch it. I tried, yeah. and I just was like, I, I did don't not, like it at all. I don't think that was successfully or well received. Mm-hmm. So I'm not sure what this guy, where he's getting his data from. So, you know, he's well, he's probably looking at whatever their earnings. So I'm sure the the show earned some money. Yeah. But it, I'm sure, yeah, of course, it's Lord of the Rings that's going to make money. Yeah. But the Embracer Group, this is interesting to me, the Embracer Group. Where were you? See it? The second paragraph. According to oh, down one. here? Right, no, no. Wait, 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 where? Second, second sentence of the second paragraph. Giant Embracer Group. See him? No. Jesus. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. It's Swedish Gaming. Embracer Group Embracer owns group. a lot of video games. The current holders of the film rights. Mm-hmm. They, they will allow the acquired studio. It. Yep. Work on multiple Lord of the Rings film. Like, that's interesting to me. I forgot that they own it, and we talk about a lot of games. The so, Lord, okay, this is the Lord of the Rings reboot. Who's attached to the project? While the original trilogy, as well as the follow up Hobbit trilogy, was directed by Peter Jackson, as of now, no filmmaker has been attached to the project. However, according to reports in a Variety, Jackson has been kept in the loop, which who knows what that fucking means? Yeah, it does, could, could mean nothing. They told him. They're like, yeah. hey, Peter, we're going to remake mm-hmm. these movies. He's like, what? He's like, all right, uh, we'll talk to you later. Yep. Yeah. So he's in the loop. While no casting announcements have been made so far, it is interesting to see if any cast members from the original trilogy, the Hobbit films, or even the Rings of Power will make an appearance. So is this going to be a new movie or a reboot? Uh, or a new I don't set think of it's movies? A, it's, I think it's a new set of movies. I don't think it's going to be a reboot. Oh, all. yeah. Yeah. Embracer Group is interesting just because they own THQ, Coffee Stain, Dark Horse Media, yeah, the big, big, big Gearbox, yeah. So the Borderlands is all Embracer Group. Mm-hmm. Huh. But yeah, these are supposed to be supposed to take place with more Aragorn uh, and shit like that. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So I'm yeah. Uh, Bringing it forward to a new, hmm. It's like, where, where are you pulling the, the, the Witcher? Pulling what is it? The Witcher? They did that too? Yeah. What, what where are you pulling, are you pulling from? from? The, like the, the Simerillion? The Simerillion? <laughs> yeah. They're not pulling from that. Yeah. Those, they already did that. They'll just get some cliff notes from that, and then that's the jizz of it. Yeah. That's a, the whole jizz of the Simerillion. <laughs> Simerillion. So the Lord of the Rings movie trilogy, uh, well, let's see. There's stuff there that can be explored, but it's like, will you do it right? No, they probably didn't show me that you did it right with Rings of Power. No, they will definitely. um, Let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna hold my critique until the movie comes out. Yeah, you you got got, you got big shoes to fill. I I don't even know, like, because Peter Jackson's movies were on such a high scale. Yes, they are. Like the production value, like everything was made. There are many people that say that those that's the best like trilogy set of movies ever made. I mean. it's unbelievable what Ever they do made. with those movies. And good luck. You made a show, and look, you can see the, the differences in the armor. Like, there was real armor in the movies, and they use like, fucking cloth and bullshit. Just down to the costumes, you could be like, ugh. They need to hire a bunch of YouTube cosplayers to make their fucking shit. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, those guys, those the people on YouTube and the people that do the cosplay stuff mm-hmm. are really just good go to at the, it. Go to a comic book convention. You're really good at it. Yeah. Let's go. Here, come on. Yeah, yep. come over here. Uh, so... Uh, I'm not, I don't have my hopes set very high for uh, a new sad. Lord of the Room, Lord, Lord of the, the Rings, Rings reboot. Yeah, it is. And they're probably, my guess is they're just going to shit all over it, but that's just my guess right now. They should. Hey, who knows? It could be really good. Could be. Could be. Could I don't be. know. They're supposed to release some fucking Golem game coming out soon. Oh, really? You get to play as Golem. What? Huh? What am I doing? <laughs> Yeah, chasing that fuck. ring. Yeah, chasing the dragon. Yeah, fucking heroin. <laughs> the, the, yep. the the heroin version of uh, whatever it gives you a lot of power. That ring does. Yeah, fuck. Yep. Um. So speaking of bringing everything forward into a new audience, woke. Oh, oh wait, hold on, hold the on. The wokeness. We got to do the fuckery and... news sound. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. What do you mean? Oh, we gotta wait. Want me to vamp? Yep. Are we vamping? 
No, this is the fuckery news. Since we're coming to that part of the show. Oh, yeah, and you said there's... Is that the notification sound? That's the notification sound. sound. Okay. Need to edit that just re-record it. Yep. All right. Fuckery news. Fuckery. Say, so I need you to get you to do that. Oi. <laughs> oh, uh, my God. Yeah. We, ew, ew. I need to... I, I, I found a really, like sound that was like someone being really offended i sent it to you i think we just got we got to play it when we're done here okay and I, yeah, maybe we just edit that in all right speaking of bringing um stuff for a new audience uh, news flash uh, mario is gay mario, mario the plumber the italian plumber mario mario of the mario brothers yeah mario mario and luigi mario total total puff uh, mario but this this isn't <clears throat> this isn't something just Little disclaimer: This isn't something that comes from Nintendo. This is something that a teacher did. <laughs> oh, I was just watching shit about these TikToks and these teachers teaching some dumbass, fucking off the wall bullshit. Yeah, that has nothing to do <clears throat> with fucking education, huh? In academia, right? Like, <laughs> oh God! So I is, didn't know it reached that level. Mario came out so long ago; most people forgot. New York Sky <laughs> High School teacher tells students. Yoshi is trans and Peach is a cis lesbian, and she gives Nintendo characters sexual gender identities. Gender identities. I'm identities glad for all the Super Mario characters. I'm glad this person has um, access to children. Yeah, teaching our <laughs> young people the, the true things, like you know, the three R's or the four R's. Uh, Wait a minute, are bullshit. Is that a they? Um, her? They. I, I think she probably is a they, them. Uh, yeah. She's probably a they, them, but. You can't, yeah. Let's see. A high school teacher has told her students Nintendo characters have different sexes, sexual and gender identities. And she claims Mario is gay while Princess Peach is a massive, like not just a regular size lesbian. So, She's a massive lesbian. Yes. Their name is Remy Elliott, but they're certified under the name Jeremy William Elliott. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Explains it. So, yeah. So, uh, this is actually a Daily Mail um, news article. If you want to go So, look if it you up. were co- fucking concerned about Mario having a fucking gender identity and sexual preference, it, she cleared it all up. Yeah, him and uh, Luigi so dumb. Are going down. Never once. Well, there's other. there's there's deep parts of the internet that have that obsession with Mario and right. the Peach oh, thing. What is the what is the uh, rule? If you can imagine it, there's porno made about it. One hundred. Yeah. <laughs> I, I forget. No what stuff that is. with uh, Randy <laughs> from Hello. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't showing go up on my timeline. I'm like, what the fuck? Showing up on your timeline. Huh? Yeah, it was. Oh, yeah. So you like the uh, wife? Well, there was some. Time. Fucking, <laughs> <laughs> there was like a cosplayer chick that like retweeted another retweet. You know what I mean? Like layers deep. And I'm like, next thing, what the fuck is this? What yeah. naked Randy? So this lady is employed at the New York City Department of Education. Made the comments on a presentation to students during a gay straight alliance after, after school, school club, club meeting. meeting. What the fuck? Well, at least um, kids can opt into this. It's not like she has the class. So I guess kudos to her for not having it as part of her daily itinerary. In the video Luigi uploaded to her a- TikTok account, she reshared the PowerPoint alleging Princess Daisy is hella bisexual. I don't know what scares me more, that, that, that she had the thought or she took the time to make this yeah. fucking PowerPoint. Uh, while she's real passionate about it. While Luigi is a demisexual dude, I don't and I don't know what a demisexual is. Do you know what that is? Uh, no, man. You gotta Google that real quick. Yo, she is a trans man. He's living his best life with Birdo. <laughs> With who? <laughs> the Birdo's the pink egg shooting motherfucker from uh Oh from the second Mario one. Mario two, yeah. Yeah. I bet you he can do a lot with that meal. <laughs> 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 It's not just for sucking eggs. <laughs> for spitting you need eggs. a mushroom to get buried yeah. after Birdo gets you. This person has eighty one thousand followers and identifies uh as bisexual and has since deleted the videos that and made her profile private. I can't I'm read this. People this are is a lot of mad. Me. Oh, this is the good stuff, this man. Is this stuff. is the good stuff. <laughs> I can't. I'm way. I'm down farther, and it's just this it's is so crazy. Stupid. Fucking uh, read, <laughs> read the stuff. Look at all this yeah, dumb yeah, yeah, yeah. shit. So it says this is a dubious. Wait, this is dubiously assigned genders of sexual classes. Of Sexuality is the classic yeah. Nintendo characters. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, see, so of course, whatsoever. that means Birdo is a trans, an ace trans girl. I don't what know what's an ace fuck? trans girl. 
I can't keep up with this stuff, man. Yeah, I man. got too much. I got too much on my plate to keep up with. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All yeah. the different terminologies. Yeah, you got to do not disturb that shit, dude. That's weird. Well, we're in the, it we're is in the on lab disturb, right now. I know. Fucking cooking. We're in here cooking. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, Luigi is totally a demisexual dude, but he just calls himself queer because it's it's like too confusing. Yeah, he has a big he has big by Wi Fi wife energy. Yeah, what the fuck? Top yeah, who had okay top surgery? Wait, who had top surgery? Which Birdo one? Birdo? Oh, okay, Birdo had top surgery to remove a <laughs> to remove breast tissue tissue as a woman transitions into a man. She she continually calls out Princess Peach for being a massive cis lesbian. Ugh. I just love that massive cis lesbian. I don't. Mm. Yeah, that means she's out on the hunt. Yeah, yeah. She's a, just a standard lesbian, cis. No, no, no. She's massive. Oh my gosh, big old dyke. No, like not big in size. No, like her, I know her energy. Yeah, her is big massive. energy, yeah, big she's dyke energy, massive yeah, dyke it, energy. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah, meanwhile, Daisy is described as hella bisexual. I don't know what that means. Fire this like, person. This is this person that's a teacher, though, and they use words like hella? I want Nintendo to catch wind of this and be like, they're going to like send out the fucking ninjas, dude. Take yeah. this one out. Hella. She's killing our characters. Uh, You're taking something so fucking... Like beloved, really reading into it. Tur- yeah, you're turning yeah. it upside down into some woke fucking nonsense. What is it? Toad is a pre-transitioning trans girl. He's a nice. fucking mushroom person. But a trans mushroom person, trans. please, oh please, <laughs> please get it fucking right. You don't sound very inclusive right now. You're right. You don't <laughs> at all. You're right. The cops are coming. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They'll knock down our door. Yeah. All right, uh, this is a good story. Well, I don't, not good for this guy. But anyway, do you know what mug shot he says? I, I'm guessing from the title, it's hot mug shots. Yes. Yeah. It is. I've but, seen these before. Yeah. yeah, follow him on Instagram, mug shot. He's on Instagram. Okay. Could, on Instagram? Yeah, on yeah, the Insta. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's good looking girls that get arrested, but this lady. I've this seen lady some, went but I was fucking, like, God. This lady went hard right here. She Okay, women allegedly decapitates lover. While high during sex. Decapitated lover. All right, yeah. Decapitated. Woman allegedly decapitates lover during uh, high during sex. Hit his body parts. Oh. Yeah, so a 24-year-old Wisconsin woman allegedly killed and dismembered her lover during a drug-fueled sex session. Dumbing his head and (laughs) penis in a bucket and his legs in a crock pot. How big is that fucking crock pot? I was thinking something. Either... It's either a big crock pot or this guy has really small legs. Yeah, maybe both. Yeah. <laughs> the brunette Brunet seductress. seductress. Yeah, she's Ooh, seductress. Taylor Show Business. Yeah. <laughs> she was giving him the that show business. made up as fuck. <laughs> yeah, alleg- allegedly told, told police they were going to have fun trying to find all the orgas- organs. Organs, relax. <laughs> Ooh. Uh... The, the mutilated victim is in this ghastly, ghastly crime. crime. Thursday was 25-year-old Green Bay man who investigators have not identified. They probably can't identify him. Look at this chick's jaw, bro. Wow. She's got a big jaw. Neck tattoo. <laughs> yeah, red there flag. You there you go. There's a red flag. <laughs> Neck tattoo. <laughs> she looks scary as fuck. Well, yeah, she chopped a guy's dick off. You got to now take it not, not in that context. She, no, dude. She, she does not look approachable. No? No. Uh, she looks that like, mean, she looks like Morticia Adams, dude. Yeah, that, that just don't been do, taking creatine. You don't want to do any meth while uh, Morticia has been working out. Going after this on, on Tuesday, she business made her first <laughs> appearance business. in Brown uh, Brown County Court via conference on the charges in first degree uh, intentional homicide. I think she yeah mutilated corpse and third degree sexual assault. I think she continued uh, to have intercourse with the dude's decapitated body or whatever. Oh man, yeah. This lady went full crazy. Mm, mm, mm. Zero to a thousand. She probably found out Mario was gay. <laughs> Fucking lost it. Let's Uh-oh. see. Here. Prosecutors said that the sexual assault charges, the act that took place after the man was dead. Now, is it is it sexual assault if uh, you're doing it to a dead body? Oh, mm, uh, well. Yeah, they, like, he can't say no. I, mean, I guess it's non-consenting. He doesn't have a, he he's doesn't not have anything to consent either. with. Especially if she chopped his head off first. 
Yeah. She just took his head and said, yeah, you can do that. You know, made yeah. his mouth move. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, um, yeah, picture of her cell. That's way down there. <laughs> See, there you go. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, there you go. <laughs> All right. Yeah. She's endowed. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, there you go. I don't know if that's endowed. Is that the right I word for that? I thought in doubt it was like queen or size. Uh, shit, the, the, the jaw on her might, yeah, yeah, yeah. She'll need back surgery. <laughs> Allegedly, look at the picture of her cell. That's funny when she's like in jail. Yeah. So speaking of non-consensual uh, sex, Miss business. Spain removes bestiality penalty. Oh man, yeah. So before. Why is the world the way it is? I don't know. Before, Spain used to have a thing that said you can get in trouble for having sex with animals. Now they remove that from their laws. So you're not going to get in trouble for having sex with animals in Spain if you choose to go oh, there. Dude. Yeah. See, the hey, uh, my line, the two line. animal bill of rights approved on Tuesday in Congress. The second of these projects legalized bestiality. See, so if you need to, uh, yeah, yeah, if you want to have sex with some beasts, just go to Spain. It's legal there. I'm not sure what the legalities. I don't think they have my type of animals. I don't know what type of animals you into. None, (laughs) not none yet. Oh, sheep. (laughs) You like sheep? (laughs) No, I don't know. This is not a thing. I'm I'm more concerned. I got a notification to like for something and it put it in Spanish. I'm offended at my computer now because it just, it assumed. It <laughs> Do you speak yeah. Spanish at all? Yeah, I can understand it. I just don't I speak it very it. good. Yeah. Yeah. Get tongue tied. Huh. The, <laughs> the new just, law only penalizes bestiality if it causes injury. <laughs> so you got to be gentle. You got to be gentle. You got to be gentle. <laughs> yeah. Make it comfortable. Yeah, you got to. <laughs> Turn you on got, some music. You got to Bill Cosby those animals a little bit first. Nah. You put them to sleep. <laughs> uh, uh, what's the Spain? I love these. Yeah, Spain. Oh, fuck. I love these Are you stories. kidding me? These are great. This can't, uh, this can't be real. No, it's, uh, it's, it's on, on the, the internet. internet. <laughs> it's got to be real. Yeah, it's on the internet. You can read the bill here. Penal code. Yeah, penal code. Yep. They used a penalty of three months. And now One allows day. sexual acts with animals who cannot give their consent. What the? As fu- opposed to, it was probably legal before for animals that can give consent. Like, yeah, how does it? I don't know. Parrots can give consent. Maybe. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> That's rough. Yeah. <laughs> it's a tight squeeze on a parrot, though. Vertebrate animals. What what v- vertebrate animals. The new law extends this crime. The law contemplates imprisonment for injuring or killing vertebrate animals. So it's specifically vertebrate. So, f- so if a f- wait, I was going to say like fish, a, but fish got vertebrates. Yeah, they got vertebrate. Uh, a jellyfish? You have a jellyfish <laughs> latched onto your wiener? Real, real masochist. Yeah. <laughs> Stinging the shit out of that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna finish this up with a with a, with a lighthearted story. Here. Okay, yeah, we need a palate cleanser after all that <laughs> yeah. bullshit. Groom busted for breastfeeding by mom on his wedding day. What? Wait. So, oh my god, this isn't a palate cleanser at all. <laughs> this is fucking great, though. So this guy was getting breastfed by his mom. Let me read the first line. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> she'll be milking this story till death to her part. Yeah, a woman has gone viral after revealing that her groom was busted allegedly being breastfed by his mother on their wedding day. Wedding planner George Mitchell uh, relaying a tawdry tale during the episode of Unfiltered Bride podcast, which she co-hosts with uh, pal yes. Beth Smith. Uh, Mitchell uh, didn't witness a shocking mother-son moment herself. Instead, mm. claimed that she heard it from a nuptial nightmare from, uh, from makeup a makeup artist. artist named Jenny. So it's a he said, she he said, said she said. So but was listen, a, I think I, this has got to be one hundred percent true. Yeah, yeah. For the sake of this, this is fucking not, podcast, yeah, this, is, this is not made up in <laughs> any way. Yeah, yeah. You'll never guess what happened. Yeah. 
bride needed to go to the toilet just before the ceremony. She walked in the toilet and saw what she saw was. Dude, that's weird. Where the fuck is the rest of the article? Breastfeeding in a toilet? Enough to end a wedding. That's what it was a weird edit. Okay. But they went ahead with the wedding, though. Uh, what? Why is his mom still producing milk? Fair question. Yeah. Because... Yeah, because I thought those milkers dry up after She's obviously time. been doing it continuously. Wow. What the fuck? You know, it wakes up from a nap at his mom's house. <laughs> oh, man. I could go for a fucking drink yeah. at the tap. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Come on, Mom, I'm hungry. Mom! Mom! What was, mom! It? <laughs> was it Game of Thrones? Uh, Robin yeah. Aaron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. was still breastfeeding at like eight or whatever Jesus. the hell that was it was like so weird it was super weird yeah he's like i need a drinky that's a real <laughs> thing in today's society it's like all right you gotta cut that kid off yeah this motherfucker's walking and talking yeah at what point does it become <laughs> like weird mm. i mean I don't if you were to throw out age, from it now yeah if you think about like a two-year-old I remember two year olds not weird. I don't think, right? I remember. I don't know what age. But I remember being like, "All right, this kid's old enough." Yeah, when they like, start getting, yeah, <laughs> when they're driving, yeah, <laughs> you're eating solids, dude. <laughs> There's no reason. Yeah, hey, where's my PB and J? And give me that <laughs> breast milk. Yeah, you take it a bite and suck, <laughs> sucking on the nipple right yeah. after that. Oh, oh, PB and J, you gotta wash it down. Wash it down. Yeah, Ugh. like I said, I, I'm not sure at what age that becomes weird, but you know, <laughs> that's a little weird. It's just, would you call off the wedding? Every everyone in the room is waiting. Yeah, they didn't call the wedding off. You definitely they wouldn't kiss when they say you can kiss the groom. Well, now, why not? Now I wonder what if she got. Now if she the 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 bride gets pregnant, I wonder if he's just gonna fall back into his old habits. Yeah, come, oh. here, come here, baby. Yeah, what if he stops? You said, what if he get he stops sucking on mom's tit? Uh huh. Years go by. Wife, the wife gets, gets pregnant. pregnant, and does he like relapse? Like, let me, yeah. let me, let me get on that shit. Yeah, he could let relapse into sucking. He's on like it. scratching himself. Yeah. He's like, I need some of that shit. Ooh, my fucking kid, yeah. fucking so lucky. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we got the kid on one side. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, and the dad on the yeah. other. Let's go. Let's go get a drink. That'd son. be so weird. <laughs> did you ever? Did you ever try the breast milk? Yeah. Did you? Yeah. Weird. You're weird. What? Why? It's weird. I didn't pour it in a fucking cup. Some came out. What? And you're like, oh, eh, not yeah, my thing. Try that. Yeah, not my thing. Yeah. Huh? Was it sweet? I don't, we we know people that like love it. <laughs> Who's we? I'm not gonna say their name on this podcast. Yeah. <laughs> there are you know somebody who loves it, or we know somebody yeah. who loves it. You yeah. know who you are. Yeah. Yeah. So that. <laughs> <laughs> what? that's weird like i don't know they, they you know it clear it 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 cures pink eye like immediately well you just squirt it in the eye yeah and it just goes pink eye goes away yeah so so how come they don't sell it it's not like i didn't believe this i didn't believe this but then remember pink eye no i no 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 i've never had pink eye but like never? uh yeah so hold on somebody somebody's kid in my in my and our family had it. And my wife at the time was breastfeeding. And they asked her, hey, I need some breast milk. And I was like, what the hell is that about? And she's like, oh, they have pink eye. And I was like, what? So then it was explained to me. I was like, oh, holy shit. It just fucking cures it. Weird. That is weird. Yeah. It's weird that you indulged. Or that the ex indulged in it. That'd, that'd be kind of weird. Yeah. She wanted to cure someone's pain. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm like, I'm, again, not putting it in the cup and drink. You're not gonna make get a shot glass out. Put some in your coffee. You ever didn't ask to like? Yeah, make you, you try it. it. No. Really? No. I know some people that were offended that they didn't want to try it. Really, the yeah. wife got offended that mm-hmm. they didn't try it. Ha. Mm-hmm. Huh. No, my wife. No, it's not for me. Yeah, it's like, yeah. <laughs> never, never came across. I mean, I don't even really drink. Just like the shit that comes out of me pff, it isn't for me. Yeah, I don't drink cow <laughs> juice right now either. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get offended if somebody doesn't try that. What? My man butter. Man butter. Yeah, what the <laughs> fuck? I made this for you. Yeah, yogurt ropes. <laughs> like I saved it. Yeah, for some just stomach for you. pancakes for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, do you have anything else to add for this episode of Gamer Athletes? Nope. Hey, episode nine. We're going to be on 10 next week. Yeah, double digits. Hell yeah. We're up there. Apple Podcast became our number one uh, 
downloaded platform. Oh, do we get any? Um, let's see. Do we get any? Uh, uh, any any more reviews? Stats? Yeah, we got a review. I think. Did we? Because it's four point eight. What? What? Somebody didn't like it. What? <laughs> These motherfuckers. Hundred. Yeah, there we go. We got a four point eight now, huh? Oh, someone said amazing. Dan is the best. <laughs> but they gave you they gave us four stars. <laughs> yeah, I must be the four. You're the one that I'm missing. not reading it though. Because it's only four stars. Okay. I got Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll have to get another one to get it get it back up, right? No, no. Yeah. It's always it's always gonna be tarnished now. No. It'll never be a five. Yeah, no, you get more fives. That's an average. Yeah, but it's always going to be turned down. It's an average. Hmm. Anyway, all right, that's been uh, Gamer Athletes. Yeah. Uh, make sure to follow us on the Instagram. Uh, what is it? In, uh, Gamer.athletes on the Instagram. Uh, Gamer Athletes PC on Twitter. On the Twitters. Yep, and Gamer Athletes on YouTube. Uh, go give us live subscribe and follow, and we'll see you next time. Five point oh. Yeah, we'll get five. Good yeah, we'll see you next time. It comes out so fast. Yeah, we're gonna go out with this outro music. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck. forever. That's been Gamer Athletes. We'll see you, everybody later. Thanks for listening. <laughs>